Hey everyone, Eber here with Hardware Connects, and a few months back we teamed up with Samsung to bring you guys a guide on NVMe M.2 SSDs and how one can significantly improve your creative workflow, especially if you're coming from a slower spinning hard drive. And the results were phenomenal. In fact, the upgrade process only took roughly 10 minutes because we were uh, using the 960 Pro SSD and we were cloning the existing hard drive uh, or the existing data on the hard drive to the uh, 960 Pro SSD and it was you know smooth, super smooth, no hiccups or whatnot. If you're interested to learn more about that, you can check it out right over here. But today we're performing the exact same process on a notebook. And that can get a little tricky sometimes depending on how OEMs frame their uh, warranty policy. Remember, if your laptop is still under warranty, I would highly recommend uh, you check their warranty uh, guidelines in terms of user upgradability. Most notebooks come with a warranty void if remote sticker, uh, but either way, I would still you know, make sure that you're allowed to do this before even uh, running into any warranty issues down the road. Another key factor to consider is compatibility. If you're planning on upgrading a two or three year old notebook, it might not support an NVMe drive. In fact, it might not even come with an M.2 slot to support the drive. Uh, in that case, upgrading to a SATA based SSD might be worth taking a look at since it features the exact same interface as a spinning hard drive. Plus, uh, if you find an extra two and a half inch drive bay within the notebook, you can convert that hard drive to just manage your data and make the SSD your primary boot drive. Most modern laptops do come with an M.2 slot, but that doesn't automatically translate into NVMe support uh, because it might only end up supporting M M.2 SATA based SSDs rather than NVMe SSDs. So once again, I would make sure to go through your OEM website, uh, double check compatibility, and then proceed towards uh, you know, getting one of these insanely fast drives. Now for the purpose of this video, I'll be using the Eurocom Q5 gaming laptop because it doesn't come with any warranty restrictions in terms of upgradability. I should also mention that if you're buying a notebook, look towards configuring it with a hard drive rather than an NVMe SSD, but also make sure that it comes with an NVMe uh, capable slot. This could save you a lot of money from the usual system integrator markup, and you can later on buy the NVMe SSD from a retail channel and upgrade it on your own. It's not rocket science, folks, but also make sure to check the warranty guidelines I talked about earlier. In this case, the Q6 comes with a standard 2.5 inch hard drive and a free M.2 slot that supports NVMe drives. Uh, now, if you're looking to upgrade to a SATA based SSD like this Samsung 850 Pro, uh, and if there aren't any extra 2.5 inch drive bays within the notebook, you can pick up a USB 3.0 to SATA hard drive adapter and clone the SSD before replacing uh, the existing hard drive. Or you could pick up this blazing fast 960 Pro NVMe SSD. You just pop it inside the notebook, clone the drive using Samsung's data migration software, and voila! You have an insanely fast boot drive for your applications and you can set the hard drive uh, to just manage your data. Switching over to the software side, there are two ways that you can install Windows on the SSD. Uh, the first and easiest option is cloning your existing hard drive to the SSD, uh, and that can be done through Samsung's data migration software. It's free to download, you just have to make sure that you've installed a Samsung-based SSD. The process is fairly simple, Samsung has done a really good job with the UI, so first-time users won't have a problem spotting things, and as you can see, I chose my source disk and then the target disk and proceeded with the cloning process. The second way to approaching this is performing a clean install of Windows using a USB drive. All you have to do is download the Windows 10 installation media tool uh, while you're using the hard drive, follow the steps, and boot into the USB and perform a clean install of Windows onto your new SSD. All right, so let's talk about performance improvements. And just so you're aware, I ran the same number of tests on the 960 Pro NVMe SSD and the 850 Pro SATA based SSD and the stock spinning hard drive. So how do the drives do? Well, all I can say is that both the SATA and NVMe SSDs were incredibly faster than the hard drive. Starting with the cold boot test, the stock drive took roughly 30 seconds to boot into Windows, while the NVMe SSD took roughly 14 seconds, uh, so that's half the time when compared to the hard drive. Now, if you're a creative professional, upgrading to the 960 Pro NVMe SSD or even the 850 Pro SATA based SSD might be money well spent. Uh, here's why. I did a quick test loading up a Photoshop project uh, that I worked on recently, and the stock hard drive took two minutes to complete that task whereas the 960 Pro took 10 seconds to get to the work and so did the 850 Pro as well. Same story goes for Premiere Pro users. Both SSDs blazed through loading up projects with the 960 Pro taking the lead, but man, that stock hard drive is a serious bottleneck. Plus, that's a lot of time saved if you're constantly working on client projects and that requires deadlines. I can guarantee you upgrading to an SSD will make a world of difference. 
My next test involved zipping a 30 gigabyte folder using WinRAR. This folder contains a ton of small files, so it's a great way to test random read and write performance on the SSDs. And as you can see, the results really do speak for themselves. The 960 Pro takes the lead by just a few minutes when compared to the 850 Pro SSD, but the stock drive is at least 11 minutes behind to complete that task. But what about gaming? Well, I was excited to test Ghost Recon because, for one, it's a graphically intensive title and uh, loading up a game along with missions take a chunk of time. So it's a great way to test each drive's read performance. I started with the Discovering Files test where the drive fetches and validates game files. And as you can see, the 960 Pro takes the lead here by 3 minutes when compared to the 850 Pro and that's thanks to the insanely fast 3.5 gigabytes per second theoretical read speeds but check out that stock hard drive. It took about 30 minutes to complete the validation, so imagine performing the same task with your larger Steam library. The performance improvements would be significant. Moving on to the initial game launch, I threw another curveball at this test by running the same compression scenario in the background, and the 960 Pro was only 4 seconds faster than the 850 Pro, but the stock drive took way more than 4 minutes to get to the game. Loading up a mission followed the same trend. Uh, while there isn't a significant difference between the 960 Pro NVMe SSD and the 850 Pro SATA base SSD, the stock HDD doesn't even come closer to those fast drives. Well, there you guys have it, a quick user guide on how to replace uh, your existing hard drive with an SSD or an NVMe based SSD. Remember, I would highly recommend checking your warranty guidelines before even proceeding with any of these. But if there's a green signal, if you're good to go in that department, um, there are two options. You could either go for a SATA based SSD, which is a lot more cheaper than going with an NVMe based drive. But if you really want the absolute best in terms of performance, say if you're working with uh, 4K RAW files, when if you're a video editor, I think the 960 Pro will come in really handy because the uh, theoretical read and write performance on this guy is a lot, and I mean a lot faster uh, than this uh, SATA base SSD, which is the Samsung 850 Pro. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on the results. Uh, would you consider upgrading to a SATA base SSD or an NVMe SSD uh, on your notebook? Let us know in the comments down below. Huge shout out to Samsung for sponsoring this video and of course providing us with these drives. I'm Ebro with Hurricane X. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.